There's definitely an audience for The Boy Who Saved Christmas. I don't know if I'm completely that audience. I didn't mind it. I didn't love it. But I think if I were a child again, there are things in it that might have appealed to me. It's not the highest rated. It's got 3.1 out of 10 on IMDb, which is not a particularly high rating. But I don't think it's as bad as that. This was released in 1998. It's directed by John Putch and written by Mark Verhanian. And this stars Andre Bork as a little boy called Jeremy. And one day Jeremy finds Santa Claus outside on the ground because we the viewer know that Santa Claus has just been sent away from the North Pole by his evil brother who has captured Santa in an attempt to ruin Christmas. Santa crash lands near Jeremy's house and to begin with he doesn't remember who he is and with Jeremy's help and the other children's help he is able to remember that he is Santa Claus but what good is remembering? He still has to try and get back and, and save Christmas before it's too late and his brother manages to do a lot of damage and he attempts to do this with, with Jeremy's help and because Jeremy believes there is hope that it will happen. But whether or not Santa can save Christmas, I'm not going to say. It's a fun enough idea and it's a well enough execution. It's not a bad narrative. The pacing is really good. It got to the point really quickly and... I really like the character of Santa. He's played by Colin McLean and I love I loved his suit. I love the way he presented himself. And there's definitely a strong sense of Christmas spirit in this. And Jeremy's family are certainly quite interesting individuals. Their parents are not getting on very well. His brother is quite mean to him. But there's also an opportunity in the film for the family to look at their own behaviours, the way they treat each other, and maybe reevaluate their approaches. It's an okay story. There isn't anything specific about it that didn't work. Some of the special effects look a little bit... Well, I guess they look 1990s, which is fair, completely fair enough since this was released in 1998. But even watching it now, it doesn't feel tremendously dated. The characters are interesting enough. I quite like Jeremy and, as I said, I like Santa Claus and the narrative develops well. The pacing's good. We have... A lot of Christmas in this so I don't really have anything about it that I would suggest could have been done differently or better it's just not necessarily fully my kind of story but I do think there's an audience for it and as I said were I younger it might have appealed to me a little bit more but that's not to say I didn't enjoy it I just know that while I was watching it I kind of knew that I would probably never ever watch it again but as a one-time watch, it's not bad. If you like films about Santa Claus, then I'd say give it a go. As long as you don't take it too seriously. It's never going to be one of the best films of all time. It doesn't have some of the best special effects. But actually, the costumes are pretty good. The characters are quite interesting. And the narrative develops quite well enough. And with some unexpected things happening. So it's not a bad film. It's not an amazing film. And as I said, I'm not... 100% in love with the narrative personally but that's just because of the type of story I gravitate towards but I think it will appeal to some people so it definitely doesn't deserve the low rating it has on IMDb. It's a fun film with some decent performances, decent characters and a pretty okay narrative. If it sounds like your kind of film I'd say it's worth checking out. <laughs> 